Welcome to Cujo Sound. This is Unity and Wise Integration. Welcome back to Cujo Sound. This here is another episode where we're going to touch upon the footsteps that we have been touching upon in the previous two episodes. Now, take a look over here in Wise. Remember that I, in my previous video in the footsteps run, made sure that it was quiet whenever we were sprinting so that there was no duplicate sound events there. I did the same thing to the footstep sprint, muted those when we're below the actual footstep sprint speed. Now, some people have asked, how do I know that this value is coming in? And that's actually kind of interesting. So let's take a look at it. Under here, under our footstep run and sprint, we can go here and say speed of character, add parameter. I right click and say add parameter to game sync watch list. Good. So let's try and connect here and say we want to connect to our game. If we start playing here, then over here in Wise, if we hit F6, you will be able to see all the events that are coming in and all the sounds that are playing. The footsteps, the footstep sprint, and everything like that. <clears throat> now, if we over here in Wise hit F12, you can now see all these sounds here. We have the third person camera. Let's say we want to watch this by ID. And then we can see the RTBC speed of character because it's global. You can now see that on our timeline as we are now walking, as we are sprinting, as we are walking. And we can even, if I use my Xbox controller, we can actually even just start walking without any sound because we didn't add anything to the animation of it. But you can see if we stop capturing over here. If you look here in Wise, this is, let's just end this. This here is the graph of my RTPC speed of character that we created before out of the velocity magnitude of our rigid body in our third person controller, which is right here third person controller and this here rigid body right here and that is being controlled by our character speed footstep script down here which is changing it so that's how you press f12 and you add stuff to the game parameter list you right click on the game parameter that you want in this case it's the rtpc speed of character add game to parameter sync watch list f12 whenever you're capturing and connected up here and then you find the item that you want to see the thing is that these are named with an id number but in our case we know that our third person camera is receiving this parameter so we can check it out there specifically later when you send rtpcs to game objects specifically then it can be a little more tricky to do this and then you need to name these by name instead of having the giving them an ID number like this, but it still works. And that's a very, very quick way of checking out your RTPCs like this. Another thing that we can do with our RTPC is that if we over here in Unity and in our code here, add another speed of character. Let's try this out. A public string RTPC speed of character delayed let's call it that like this then we can actually say here that we want our AK sound engine to send the same RTPC value to RTPC delayed like this so now it's sending to both of these so in wise over in our game syncs when we have our RTPC speed of character let's duplicate that one so now that we have this one and we call it delayed as we should it still goes between 0 and t 0 and 12 but let's make it a slew rate this here is units per second so it should go let's say if we suddenly start sprinting from 0 and it goes all the way to 12 we could do that by saying 5 per second nah let's go three three per second and we say here 
add to game sync parameter watch list. We'll hit F7, build our sound banks, go back into Unity, and start playing. And you should be able to see that when I connect to Wise again and I hit F12, you should be able to see both of these parameters. Let's connect and play. Hit F12. You can see both parameters. Now the thing is that when we're running around, look at it. They are going to the same value, but one of them is much smoother than the other. Actually, I would like it to be much smoother than that. Now that I'm sprinting, you can see the value is much smoother. So if I stop, it will go down slowly like this. What we can do with that is that now that we know that our value is smoothed like this, that also means that we can control some pitch controls and other things. So let's go back. Then we hear in F5 under footsteps. Let's say footsteps run or footsteps sprint. We know that these will be triggered instantly when we start sprinting, but we want over time to have it become slightly more pitched. So let's say we add a game parameter, voice pitch, and we want it to be the delayed one instead. And we want it to be... Let's just say 500 and I'll run if we are running voice pitch here and delayed. We know that we will be in this area around here with three when we are running. So we would like it to be kind of low like this. So in case we are running or sprinting, regardless of where we came from, it will sound like that our character is slowing down a little bit. So let's try to transition over here into Unity and play around and you'll hear what I mean. And that's it for this quick video, how to immediately solve issues in regards to your footsteps, but also how to add a lot of detail just by having a simple RTPC that is slightly delayed, pitch up and down your values, and that's how to do that. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and learned something. Fire away questions in the comments below if you like. See you next time. Thank you for watching Kujo Sound. If you want to know more about game audio, Unity, and Wise integrations, please like this video if you enjoyed it, and hit subscribe if you want to know more. Or head over to patreon.com forward slash Kujo Sound, where you for as little as $1 a month can help me sustain this channel and the time I take off to create all this material. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Kujo Sound and Bjorn Jacobson signing out.